Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is your 30 Second Marketers Tip of the Day. We've been talking about offers, but you know, the biggest challenge people have in making offers is that they make them an afterthought instead of the primary reason that they're generating an ad in the first place. Don't make that mistake. Now the reason why this happens is because people don't realize there's a variety of reasons to make offers and you can design your ad specifically to accomplish a specific purpose. In fact, there are 10 reasons or 10 different offer styles. I'm gonna share with you six of them now and four more in the next tip. We begin with lead generation offers. This is an offer that's designed to take a suspect and turn them into a lead. Get them to raise the hand of interest and say, I might be interested in what you have to offer. How do you do this? Generally speaking, it's with some kind of a free offer. It could be a free trial of something, but it could also be free information. For example, if you are a jeweler, you could offer a report on the seven sneaky things nefarious jewelers do to rob you of your money. Kind of in your face, but if you have a prospect who's looking to buy a, an engagement ring, wouldn't they want to know that information? And you can at the same time imply that you're the place to come for an honest experience. That's lead generation. So your customer walks through the door or your prospect walks through the door and identifies himself, gives you his contact information, gets his free report, but shouldn't you have something ready to go that's designed to convert that lead into a sale on the spot? That's a conversion offer. And whatever you can do to get that person to buy sooner rather than later is a good idea. So conversion offers is another kind of offer that you can use in your marketing. The third kind of offer I wanna talk about is to induce an initial trial. Some people simply need to dip their toes in the water rather than plunge in head first. So if you can get a little transaction with you, you change the nature of the relationship. That person is no longer a prospect, now they're an actual customer, and you have elevated the amount of trust that they have in you, and you have set the stage for a long relationship where they can buy over and over and over again. If you remember the concept of the lifetime profit value of a customer and focus on that, rather than the transactional value of a customer, you're more likely to make small, offers designed to induce trial. Of course, you always can make an offer that's designed to close a regular sale, and that's a perfectly legitimate use of an offer. And finally, today, we're gonna to talk about upselling and add-on selling. When somebody comes in the door and they have an idea of what they wanna spend, most of the time, they would like to spend more if they could. If you can show them how, that's an upsell. Then before they walk out the door, make sure you add something on. Predetermine what those add-on offers are, have a script and all the materials necessary to entice them to buy just a little bit more. Those are six compelling offers, and if you think through your offers before you write your marketing materials, you've got a much better shot of getting to yes. Subscribe to the channel. That's my offer to you today, and when you do, I will send you a special report all about offers. All you've got to do is click the link in the doobly-doo and I'll send it to you for free. And that is your 30 Second Marketers Tip of the Day.